Our Blackpool Hotel is a bit of an old battleship. The President may spring the odd leak and creak at the seams. But it's now emerging from the financial storm that it has weathered for so long. Now, owner Mrs. Walsh feels confident enough to take the President into ambitious new waters. The reason I've called this meeting this morning is to um, tell you about our little surprise trip to Paris. <laughs> Mrs. Walsh will take her most senior staff on a fact-finding tour of two model Parisian hotels. And what we're hoping for out of this trip is to experience, you know, life in a five-star hotel, <coughs> to see the systems that they've got. We're looking for new ideas that we can bring back to the President's Hotel. The lucky few are to be General Manager Alan, Duty Manager Steph and Head Housekeeper Zoe. Unfortunately, Junior Manager Dominic has not been chosen. We'd love to take everybody, but we've still got to have people here holding the fort while we're away. But there is some good news for Mrs Walsh's son. He'll be in charge for the first time. The book's going to be stopping with Dominic. But Mrs Walsh is not without her reservations. I'm concerned about it because I know what you like. All the girlfriends and all the bird in it and going out and all the rest. While his mother is away, this man will be the president's new boss. the night before the big trip. Alan, the unflappable manager, is undertaking some last-minute preparations. Je voudrais encore des cartes de visite. That's no wanting more business cards. I'm looking forward to it. This is a long time since I was there last. I should think probably about 20 years or so. Yeah. Do you have a favourite city in the world? Um, Blackpool. <laughs> I'm interested to go to Paris again because it's a style centre. Tu es très belle. Je me intéresse vraiment à toi. Meaning I'm interested in you. Je ne veux plus te revoir. I never want to see you again. Meanwhile, Zoe, the jolly housekeeper, has gone over to Steph's flat. The long-suffering duty manager has never been abroad before, unless you include Wales. Yeah. Not nervous? Yeah. Oh, yeah? What yeah. about? Flying. You'll be all right. There's not that many crashes on planes. Go and sit next to the window. Why, if you've not flown before? How do you want to sit in the window? So I can see when we're taking off and when we're landing. Why are you crashing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to go there. <laughs> You're taking a yaw for good luck. I don't know which one to take. Oh, that one's nice. Party. Yeah, party. So have you really never travelled before? No, no. You've never been on a plane Never before. been on a plane before. Never. I, I'm, I'm paranoid about going out of Blackpool. Oh, yeah. I hate being in, in different cities and places and places I don't know. I like my security around me and I like to be able to get home like that. Hey, where are we going? Hey. Mrs Walsh hates to leave her trusty sidekick Biggles behind. Who's that? Is that my little sweetheart? Hey. Who's that pretty boy there? Who is that? And who's this one? Is that Dominic? Is that Dominic, look? Dominic's going to look after you while Mummy's away. Are you going to be a good boy for Dominic? Are you? Are you making sure now that I can't get any more things in my suitcase? Or are you trying to get me to close it with you in it? Hey, is that what we're doing?
the fact-finding team set off for the airport. See you. Say bye. Ah! Shall we, um, shall we have a sneaky cigarette? Yeah, I'll have a sneaky cigarette, <laughs> Come on, then, I'll get me fags out. Hmm? How are you about the plane now? Oh, are you? I'm, I'm not so bad now. Are you not? Oh. Are you nervous now? A little. A little? You'll be all right, honestly. Yeah. Sweaty? Yeah. 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 I'm fine, I just don't... I'm fine. <laughs> The president's fact-finding mission will be visiting two top-notch French hotels, the Crème de la Crème of Paris. Unfortunately, they couldn't afford to stay in either of them. Monsieur French. Monsieur French? John Wayne, name one and one. The following morning, Mrs. Walsh makes an executive decision. She delegates the mission to her senior staff. She needs a lie-in. Now, it should be remembered that the president's staff come from an English seafront hotel that caters largely for coach parties. Now, the team are about to visit the very latest in Parisian chic, the Murano. There's not a glitter ball in sight. Bonjour. Uh, I'm Alan. Pleased to meet you. Zoe. Welcome to Paris. And Steph. Welcome. Welcome to the Murano Hibat Resort. I uh, will spend a few minutes together and I will uh, show you this place. It's a very wide place, except uh, the color of the chair. I'm going to meet our chef, Pierre Roger. So please, this is Pierre Roger, our chef. French man. Uh, yes, French, very French, yes. The team are supposed to be picking up ideas to take back to the president. The executive housekeeper every night, she can put also different things on the bed. Today she put these flowers. We have seven colors. So the first one is white. The second one will be pink. The third one will be green. The fourth one will be a lighter pink. The fifth one will be blue. The sixth one will be orange. The seven ones will be yellow. All the lights are coming one after one, non-stop. Back in Blackpool, things are quiet at the president, and Dominic is able to turn up for work at a civilized hour. Lunchtime. Come and sit here, yeah? let's share. That's about the bosses around, isn't it? I know. You can be my boss any time, Dominic. You buy me fish and chips. Uh. <laughs> oh, his mouth watering, he's hungry. She give me those a bit. Eating fish and chips. Nice. Ah, oh, Mr. Bickles. No. No. Oh. Hello? Mum? How are you? Everything going all right? Yeah, everything's fine here, yeah. yeah. Brilliant, yeah. Nothing to worry about, yeah. What we're doing, I'm just fe I'm just feeding you your pride and joy, actually. I'm just giving Biddle some chicken and some milk. No, I, I won't feed him any rubbish. 
All right. Okay. Speak to you later. Bye. Poor little baby. Mm. Oh, we've got him growling on this one. Have you got videos Yeah. Cyril has left the team from Blackpool alone for a few moments to bask in the marvels of the Murano. What would it be like housekeeping on this? Oh, I would like to do it. <laughs> Just touch it and you've got a fingerprint. Well, you put your fingerprint on the, on the metal there already. Yeah, you yeah. you polish that off. Yeah. Oof. Oh, dust. What have you written there? Staff. I do this at the president sometimes. If I do a room check, I'll go around all right, clean me. That's good. No banging toilet seats there? No. I have a quiet toilet seat with a loud flush. Can't understand that. What do you think? Not for you? No. No, it's all right. No, I don't Not think your it. taste in that, huh? No. No, I think it's all very lovely, but, you know, I just... It wouldn't be Still my individual. choice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Could, you know, picture all this in Blackpool in the winter months when you've got 51 of these empty. Mrs Walsh might not be too happy to hear that there was little to inspire her team at the Murano. They'd better find something inspirational at the second hotel, the Maurice, or they could be up for the guillotine. Mrs. Walsh, confident that her team are being suitably inspired, heads for the Rue de Castiglione. A top businesswoman can't afford to miss the opportunities that Paris has to offer. Do you know Rodolf Minigi? No, no, I haven't. I've bought any of his stuff before. He's a great, great French designer. Really? Yeah, very famous in Paris. Mm. Really, really rock and roll, all sexy. Right, so you think Beautiful. these look um, sexy then? Yeah, very. <laughs> look at your feet. It's beautiful. Oh, this is so rock and roll and so sexy. Do you think? Do you like them? Mmm, quite like They're them. They're so yeah. chic, it seems. Yeah. This is more classical. I like classical. I ah, do classical. you prefer classical, <laughs> okay. So you look like um, an old movie star, you know, in Hollywood, you know. It's very sexy. Very rock and roll. This is actually where um, we also serve our afternoon tea, our, um, if not, it's our second restaurant. Oh, this is the uh, more casual restaurant. This was part of one of the expositions we had, and we kept them since we liked them so much. <laughs> Get me and the three kids in there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. At last, the team from Blackpool have found something to inspire them. Instead of every room being the same, same. as in our hotel, the same linen, the same, same. curtains, etc. Here, um, Sabine is saying each room is decorated differently. Right away from the corporate thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. The jacuzzi, and you actually have the view to both sides. You can see Sacre Coeur, that's um, part of the opera, and Invalides, and Musée d'Orsay on the other side. <laughs> to get under the skin of the place, the Blackpool team are given carte blanche to don hotel uniforms and mingle with the staff. You're really, really nice. <laughs> okay, you're all puffed up. Bonjour. Thank you, Eric. Look, we are eight 
where there's, there's usually between either one, two or three doormen. The client is king. Do you say that in English? I forget. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I was thinking that maybe you could do like a little um, demonstration how you would check somebody in and I'm sure staff is willing. Mm. May I ask for your name, please? I'm staff. Thank you, Mr. Staff. Welcome to the Marie's. I've just booked into a suite upstairs. <laughs> Eat up the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> The team retire for a little tete-a-tete -tete over a café au lait. Is there anything that we can draw from the so Maurice to, to give us inspiration for the new president? Individuality in the rooms. Yeah. Branded items, I think you should have, like bathrobes, towels, um, shampoos, exactly. conditioners. One way to, I'm suggesting, to improve the service you offer is to have more staff. Thought, Bell you know, boys. it was very. Uh, <laughs> can either of you remember the motto of the Maurice? Uh, luxury is never good enough. Uh, luxury is not, no, not no longer. No, no, no longer enough. No, yeah. I think that's something that we could take from them and uh, not necessarily verbatim, but we, we could build upon that sort of thing. That was good, wasn't it? The team have come up with some ideas that they can confidently take back to the president. They just have time for a little twirl around gay Paris. Dan's a bit close to his uh, come on, Zoe. family allowance. <laughs> 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 Dominic and Sandra also have time to enjoy themselves before their bosses return at the end of the day. Hey, Wiggles. Hey. Hey, Wiggles. Bye. Come on. Come on. What is it? Wiggles. What is it? Come on. Hey, ten love. No, nope. sorry. An offer will make Wimbledon, will it? Who won't? I will. <laughs> Come on. Sandra, is the dog there? Are you? Is he there? Ah, oh, the door's open. Oh my God! Biddles. Biddles. Before the flight home, Mrs. Walsh has to purchase one more piece of haute couture. This time, it's for Biggles. Combinaison Britney Spears. Mrs. Walsh has picked the perfect present for her precious pooch. But she doesn't know his exact size. I'll... All right, then. I'll just pass you back to Abby and I'll go and try and measure Mr Biggles if I can. He's just woken up, so he's not in a very good mood. All right. All right. Speak to you soon. Sandra may not have a dog, but she does have a handbag. Oh, no, she's just, uh, she's trying to just take measurements of that. He's, um, he's, he's ten inches across the body. Ten inches all, all along, along the body, yeah. And she's just measuring his legs now. Oh, and his, his legs are five inches. All right, I'll put her on, hang on. Hi, hiya, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty correct, yeah, yeah. I've measured him the best I could, but he was a bit ratty with me. Do you not hear him? Oh, yeah. 
Biddles. Mrs. Walsh can't help enthusing about the present for her beloved Biggles. And he's got a, a nice red collar with a cravat. Oh, lovely! Um, there's some little bones and balls and things. Yeah, oh. I can't wait to see The team will be home in a matter of hours. George, have you seen the dog, Biddles? What's he Has he not been through here? Hey, love, you've not come across a little Panamanian dog, have you? No. Have any troubles? I've lost him. My mum's gonna kill me. Biddles! Tell me all about these hotels. One of them was all, like, Ikea. <laughs> what do you mean, Ikea? It was all different ultra colours modern. and ultra You modern mean the boutique and... hotel stuff? You go to your room and put your finger in and it recognises your print and the door open. So they're not going to be coming down and saying, uh, excuse me, but I can't get my key in the lock, no. it's broke. They're going to be coming down and saying, my finger's stuck in the lock. <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> Bills. 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 Oh, I am sorry. Just, I, don't know, I don't know what to say. It's gonna kill me. Absolutely kill me. Excuse me, Grandma. Excuse me. Have you seen a little ginger dog running around? We've lost a dog. The Blackpool team are now back in England. What have you been going on about and on about and on about? I, 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 I can see it now more than I could before because I've seen it in the Right, hotel. so what you're saying is that it was aware of being really telling you about being professional. You didn't get it until you've actually seen it in practice yeah. in Paris in the hotel. And now I've seen it, I've come back with inspiration to, to do it. Excuse me, sir, have you seen a little dog about that big? And have you seen a little ginger dog about that big? No, I have. Well, that's a lot of it on a dog. Down there, there's a black one, not a ginger one. This one's ginger we're looking for. No, it's just to be one. Just to Mr. Biggles! Right in the middle of my big puddle there. No, big that's not Mr. There. Biggles. No. 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 So that's, that's not, not the ginger there, one. No. If you're carrying on down there, will you keep shouting Mr. Biggles for I'll me? I'll do that, do that. Mr. Biggles! Dominic's future is hanging in the balance. Oh my God, where have you been? But today, fate has been kind. It was 200 yards down the road. Oh my God, here. come here, can I just get him off you, mate? Yeah, oh sure. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. So appreciative that you brought him back. Oh. Oh, we knew he belonged here. So we've seen him in here a couple of nights ago. Yeah. Good night, you little boy, today, aren't you? Hey. Oh. Are you all right, or do you want to get your step? No, I'll be all right, thanks. I'm all right, yeah. All right, all right, everything's been all right. Yeah. Where's they come from? He's in here. <laughs> 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 I've been away as well. Have you missed your woman? Have you missed Hi, hello. You all have a nice time? Oh, yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah, I'm five stars. You are right. Proper five stars. Eight thousand pounds yeah. a night. Yeah. What's the bit? Do you want to tell the one mummy's brought you back, eh? Biggles may be happy to see his mistress, 
but he won't forgive her son in a hurry. Mommy back, and nobody's got to touch her. This for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mercy of a kid. Look, baby. Come here. I'll show you. It's lucky for everyone that Sandra's handbag was the right size. A beautiful little boy with this on. He's a bee stunning. Yes, you are. You put your little ears there and you're going to look <laughs> the absolute business. Oh, you look pretty boy now. Come here, there, girl. Oh, picture out on. Is he pretty boy now? Oh, he's lovely. He's lovely with that on. Life has returned to normal. The staff settle back into their old routine as if Paris had never happened. Until Alan gathers the staff for an important announcement. Good morning, everyone. How are you all? Good morning. OK. Um, following the trip to Paris that some of us went on, Zoe, Steph, myself and Elizabeth, um, where we looked at some really top-line hotels, um, in particular one called the Hotel Maurice. They work with what is called a mission statement. Quand le luxe ne suffit plus, when luxury is not enough. I've been thinking about a mission statement for us here at the President. And so I'm going to reveal to you now there's a nice word, Ooh. reveal to you, um, a mission statement that we've come up with for the hotel. Da, 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 da. When OK, in red, is not good enough. When is now. As we move this hotel forwards, um, as we move into uh, another chapter of the president, OK, will not be good enough. Yeah? What do you think about that? When the history of the president comes to be written, the day that Alan devised a mission statement that was, well, OK, will have a chapter all its own.